Hi, I'm Rachel Clifton and I'm here at the Sheep event today to talk about lameness. Um, so we've been helping people identify problems in their flock. We've got different examples of uh, foot conditions, so things like foot rot. This is an example of a foot that's had foot rot. Um, so you can see that you've had separation of the horn of the hoof here, so that's a, a key sign with foot rot. Um, you also notice a smell and you may see inflammation in this gap between the toes. If you've just got scald, you'll see the inflammation here, but you won't see the separation of the hoof. Um, if you've got CODD, it will start at the top of the hoof and work its way down, um, and the, the horn will shed from there. This foot here is an example of Shelley hoof, so this is a non-infectious condition, but you can see that you get separation of the horn of the foot from the, from the uh, sole, so it's just along the white line there. Um, this can predispose to things getting Im impacted in that wall and lead to abscesses. This foot is an example of a toe granuloma, you can see there. So this is often caused by over trimming. Um, it can be quite difficult to treat, so it's really something to be avoided. It's one of the reasons we suggest that you don't trim where you don't need to. So one of our main messages today is treatment of foot rot. So we're recommending using antibiotic injections and antibiotic spray. Um, we're also advising that you don't trim for these conditions. Um, our research has shown that this can actually be detrimental, so antibiotic injection and spray is the main thing um, to focus on. And we've also been discussing CODD. Again, antibiotics can be useful for that condition if you have it on your farm, um, but it's something that you might want to talk to your vet about because it can be more difficult to treat.